second graders, this is Mrs. Ruff with your writing assignment for the rest of this week. Um, on Monday and Tuesday, we worked on brainstorming on ideas for, of memories we had in second grade on our class Jamboard. Today, we're going to use some of those memories or maybe your very own to write your most important thing about second grade and create a page for our class book. I'm sharing, going to be sharing with you a Google Slides link. So if you're viewing this before Wednesday, like if it's Monday or Tuesday, the link will not have been posted on your calendar. I need to give you time to brainstorm and I'm going to be putting that together Tuesday night. If it is Wednesday or later, so Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, look for the link that says writing pages for class book. So that's your assignment is gonna be on the link writing pages for class book you will click on that link and this is what you're going to see. You'll start with this very first slide that you're looking at right now and this is telling you what you have to do. It's your exit directions for your writing. Slide number two are, and possibly three and more, are the memories that you shared on Jamboard. I'm going to give you, um, it may give you some ideas for your writing but definitely use your very own if you have them. Um, this slide right now doesn't have any memories yet because I'm actually taping this on Saturday. So think of one of the most important memory and three other memories and then you can write one on a post-it note or in sentences on a paper. And I'm going to go over that just, um, let's just go back to the first slide and I'm going to explain what you're going to need to do. So you're going to need a pencil, your notebook, or post-it notes as I said. You're gonna read the ideas on the brainstorming pages on the next slide or slides, and then you're going to write a rough draft. So your rough draft is gonna be your most important idea, which I put two stars by. That's the one that we're going to write twice. And then um, write one idea on each post-it note, if you choose to write post-it notes, or write four ideas on your notebook. So you can either write in your notebook or your post-it notes. That's your choice. But you need four ideas. One of them needs to have stars on it and that's your most important idea. You can look at my examples um, to help you. I put two stars by we cared and supported one another. On my next most important, my next detail, I had a pet rock named Rocky and learned about the three types of rocks. The third detail was this chant helps us understand how to write paragraphs. Paragraphs, indent, detail, example, detail, example, wrap it all up. And then the fourth detail was, we were soil sleuths at Quarry Hill Nature Center. If you noticed, the one that I had two stars at is going to be my most important memory. So on my very last line, I'm gonna say, but we cared and supported one another. So know that the one you star is the one you're gonna repeat. Then you're gonna find your slide. Once you've written on your post-it notes or your notebook, find your slide. And your slide is going to be um, below and I'm gonna show you in a minute. And on that, you're gonna type out your most important ideas and repeat the first idea for the very last line. This auto saves, so when you're done, you can exit out. All right, so now we're going to look for my slide but you're going to see all of our names and each person gets one page all right now you're going to see mine is at the very end and unfortunately when i'm doing a videotaping this doesn't let me um type yours will allow you to type or maybe you have a tablet or an ipad and you have the ability to write and i'm going to give you the option of doing either one but writing actually might be more tricky than typing just make sure i can read it because i'm going to be needing to edit these so once you have got found your slide you can start writing your um, writing your important your important things so it says i've started it for you the important thing about second grade is and i wrote we cared and supported one another. So I can't type, but I will write. We cared and supported one another. And then 
because that's what I start, I'm going to do it down at the bottom. Do you see where I wrote about the important thing about second grade? Um, oh, I have a typo. About second grade, I'll have to fix your slides. <laughs> Is we cared and supported one another. So now we just have to fill in the middle ones, right? And those are already on your rough draft. So I'm looking at my rough draft. I wrote there on my notebook right beside me, and I'm going to say I had a pet rock name, uh, pet rock named Rocky. Whoops, Rocky. All right. And I learned about the three kinds of rocks. Then I wrote, I'm going to just, this would be one that I won't have room enough to write. But I'm just going to say, I learned a chant. that helps me write a paragraph. If I could type, it would fit, but because I'm writing, it's not going to fit if I do the whole thing. And then the last one I said, we were soil sleuths. At Quarry Hill. And we already did the last one, but the important thing about second grade is we cared and supported one another. And I'm going to reread it just because when you reread something, you can check for your errors, or if it, you wrote something and it doesn't quite make sense, you can change it before you submit it. So the important thing about second grade is we cared and supported one another. I had a pet rock named Rocky. I learned about the three types of rocks. I learned a chant that helps me write a paragraph. We were soil sleuths at Quarry Hill. Oops, I forgot a period there. But the important thing about second grade is we cared and supported one another. All right. And then when you're done, you can just exit out and you're, it will save. It's auto-saved. One thing I want to remind you is that you can only write on your slide. So if I get a report that you were that somebody else was writing on your slide and it wasn't you, um, that's from our class, I will have to have a talk with that person. So make sure this is, um, this is where you show your responsibility just right on your own slide. Again, if you have any questions or something comes up, let me know and I'll try to help you. One thing I also think can um, come up while we're doing this is that you may start going into another page. And if that happens, don't worry about it. We'll kind of fix it up when um as we're going. If you want to try to make your font smaller so that it all fits, that would be great. But otherwise, don't worry about it and I can fix it if you go into another page. If you, um, if you would be typing so many things, so many great memories that it goes on the other page. Finally, just have fun and share from your heart. Okay, I will be adding pictures from the um, from the year that we've taken and I'll be editing, editing it next weekend and send it to the printers. So you're going to receive this as a class gift by the time the school year ends. So take care and happy writing. Let me know if you have any questions.